What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Brechanics. It's really good to see you here. Thanks for watching this video. I'm excited. Today we are building a freeform Tatooine mock based on the upcoming series Obi-Wan Kenobi. I don't know if this is a real scene or not, but we're basically building a freeform mock. It's going to be a moisture farm kind of area with Obi-Wan Kenobi kind of hiding out from some Imperial troopers. Ever since I had this dewback, I wanted to get it into a build. So we're going to feature this dewback in the build as well as a Light My Bricks package here. So this is a starter kit from Light My Bricks. It's the first time that I'm going to be using lights in a mock, so we'll see how that turns out. But yeah, um, you know what? Let's just keep on building. We're going to do it all in one video. So you'll see the process and you'll see the final build at the end. So let's get into it. All right, guys, well, as you can see, we have the basic frame of the Freeform mock built out, and I'm liking the shape. And to be honest, uh, this is the best Freeform rock work border that I've made so far in any of my builds. I really like some areas where I blended in some plates with bricks, and I only did that in two spots, there and, and right here. Kind of wish I would have done it in some more spots. I kind of got away from it. But all in all, really liking the detail that we have going here. The basic rock work technique that I'm using features this brick right here. And what you do is you basically, you just have to have, you know, your frame going around two plates high like that. And good luck getting those apart without breaking. But then you stick, you know, the snot brick on top like so. And then when you put your plate on the side, right, it's the same height. So there you go. And so now what you do is you start adding your details like that. And then you can put, you know, another one like so. And then you can start building around on your rock work and detailing your border. That's how I've built this border all the way around using that same technique all the way around, staggering in different areas and, uh, you know, just building out the border. So what we need to do right now is fill this entire area in so we can start landscaping and then we can put our building up top here so let's start filling that in all right there we go guys this is looking pretty good it's like a big vanilla cookie i don't know i just want to like bite it or something like that or actually it looks like a half eaten vanilla cookie <laughs> or something i don't know uh, but the edge and all the detail around here is looking you know pretty good what we need to do next is start uh, bringing some plates and wedges up around here to cover up some of these bricks that are on their side obviously we got to cover up all uh, the tops of these black stud bricks uh, and that will transition us into you know the texturing for the landscape and just to give you an idea of what's coming up in the build we're going to add some type of building here i'm thinking about maybe like a broken wall back here some of those moisture farm spires that you see um, some tanks i wanted to maybe do a fire pit but yeah that's what we need to do right now we need to go ahead and start edging uh, this mock texturing uh, the ground and then we can start adding in some buildings so let's get into it so I just finished edging off, uh, you know, the mock all the way around all the edges with some wedge plates, some tiles, and just some regular plates to cover up those snot bricks and to start transitioning from, you know, the studs not on top, the studs on top. And we'll have to do some texturing throughout the landscape here and uh, we have a good start to that. But before we continue with the landscaping part, I think we need to figure out what this building is going to look like because that's going to set the tone for the rest of the build. I'm going to then be able to figure out where other elements in the build can go, how much room I have, and how to run lights to them if I'm going to run lights to them because we're going to open up this Light My Bricks package. I've never used lights in a mock before. I have no idea what I'm doing. So there's a lot to learn here with that in a moment. I actually have an opportunity, I believe, to work a fire pit in here somewhere. So first we need to figure out what the building is going to look like, how to light the building, and then if we can run lights to maybe a fire pit. And I think that would look, you know, pretty cool as far as the lights go. So let's go ahead and get that open and then uh, we can continue building here and uh, get working on that building. Wow. These guys are professional all the way around. I mean, this is some stellar packaging right here. And 
not sure that's how you're supposed to open it, but yeah, it kind of works out, I guess. Let's see what we have in here. The lighting component. Lighting component, I guess they're all called lighting components. <laughs> but we have some wires, we have some lights and some bricks, and then we have, I guess, the light, the light power source itself. Bro, these, this is so small. It's so small. Like, don't you guys know I'm too old? I can't see. I'm too old for this. All right, I got to spend a little time wrapping my head around this, and uh, then we can take it from there. Boom. There we go, guys. Man, I'm so excited. This is, we're in a whole new ball game of mock building now. We're getting into lights. This is some cool stuff. It's not that bad. We've got bit lights. We've got strip lights. We've got expansion boards. We've got power sources. I'm a pro. I'm a pro. All right, let's get building on that building and let's see where this mock goes. All fixed, let's go. All right, guys. Well, I've been working on the footprint for this moisture farm home, and I kind of realized, you know what, I better take care of these lights right now and get myself set up for success nice and early in this mock. So I ran the lights underneath here. We're going to use the inside of this home to house the battery and the other lights because this is the house we're going to light up as well as this fire pit. So if we uh, go ahead and turn it on here. There we go. We got all the lights wired up, looking good. Now we just need to continue building, figure out how we're going to illuminate everything, and uh, keep rocking on. So let's do it. So it is the next day, and we have made some considerable progress. We have all four sides built up. We have the doorways built in. We have, you know, the weathering. Uh, you know, I don't like to overdo the weathering on buildings on, that are on Tatooine. For most, for the most part, you know, the buildings are not decrepit. They're pretty smooth, and you know, they don't have a whole lot of you know, detail uh, to them. And I've kind of been basing my build a little bit off this image right here, obviously not, you know, totally replicating that building, but I took some inspiration from it. But the most exciting thing to show you is inside here. If I can slide this this way, if you take a look inside, we're starting to build out a little bit of an interior and I've got those lights tucked away back inside there so there's a, a wall here in the control panel power source is back behind there and you can see in the corners I have some yellow bricks stacked up and that's because the strip lights that I have are pretty you know white and I wanted to warm up that light just a little bit it's not so easily accessible the way I built this but you know I'll learn uh, for the next time but I think I've done a decent job of hiding the wires underneath the plates like you can't even see the wire is going to, uh, you know, this lantern so much. But let me get this turned on and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so I have the lights on and you can see the strip lights are behind those yellow bricks. I'm not sure this is the best way to do this, but I think it's what I'm gonna move forward with in this mock. And you can see our little lantern has a light running into it right there. So when you come down and look inside the building, you can see the lantern you know, lit up and we have some lights inside of there. You know, you can see those yellow bricks from different angles, but you can't necessarily tell, you know, necessarily what it is. So it just kind of just looks cool. So ultimately, I think that we have a decent setup here for the first time using lights. And when I get, you know, the top covered on there, I think from different angles, it'll look pretty cool, especially when it's darker in here. It's, I, you know, there's still some light in this room. And then we have our lights running over here, which are gonna be for the uh, fire pit that we're gonna have right there. So, oh, I wanna show you something else real quick. I've made a custom Riva, the third sister minifigure, and I believe this is going to give me some direction for this mock. So what are we building? <laughs> we are building Riva and some Imperials, some stormtroopers, hunting for Obi-Wan Kenobi 
who's going to be hiding out back over here. So he's still in hiding on Tatooine. This is going to be an Obi-Wan Kenobi inspired build. And we're going to use this Reva custom minifigure in the build. But yeah, let's get a roof on that. And then we can start building in uh, some of those moisture farm contraptions and uh, some tanks back here. And then we can build our fire pit, which I think we actually have to do that next. Um, and then start texturing out the landscape and get some minifigures on here and we'll be pretty good to go. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh man. I think I've got some sick progress to show you. And I made a few changes to the building. And as you can see, we've got the fire pit set up. So let's jump into this. So we've definitely made some progress. And as you can see, we've got the roof built on here. We got the dome on top, the fire pit built. It's all lit up. So I'm gonna show you that here in a second. We've got some details back there on the side of the building. You can see just some pipes, some detail over here, just a little bit. And then we've got these two big, you know, storage tanks uh, where they can store a lot of water. And we've got a little bit of detail running up the side here with the pipes. We've got the rust on there, the weathering, and just some details. I love these uh, silver studs right there. They are so cool. But let me show you some changes I've made to the lighting and the interior here. All right, so the first thing you'll notice that I've done is I've taken the strip lights off of the back of the room and attached it to the top ceiling piece here. And I did that because you could see those yellow bricks when you kind of did a panning shot here. And I just didn't want you to be able to see those bricks in the back. It just didn't look that great. So this looks a little bit better and I've kind of put them on the side there so we can get that yellow hue from these bricks. I'm actually gonna order, these are white strip lights and I'm gonna order some yellow strip lights so I don't have that problem in the future. You can see here that we've built out the interior. So we have some details in the back, you know, just like a little bit of a kitchen and I put a minifigure inside of there as well. So let me go ahead and uh, light this up and show you what it looks like. All right, I had to switch over to the phone because it's just doing a better job handling these light conditions here but there is the fire pit all lit up and i think that just looks spectacular man that looks so cool that looks so cool i'm just really enjoying working with lights i love how the lights are just creeping out onto the sand you know here so that looks really awesome and then if you look inside we have that light you know lantern lit up back there and it's not doing the greatest job of focusing if i can get oh there we go a little bit better and we have, you know, our lady back there who's kind of peeking out here because she's going to see the Imperials coming in the scene. And then we've got our kitchen stuff back there. And all in all, yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. I'm really liking this. We go over here, kind of see how the windows light up. And uh, yeah, man, all in all, I'm, I'm really happy with uh, playing with these lights. I think this looks totally cool all right man so what we got to do now is we just have to build up those moisture collectors on here we got to texture the landscape get many figures on here and i think we'll be golden so why don't i go ahead get that finished right now i'm not sure how long this video is but uh yeah let's just knock that out and then i'm just going to show you the finished product in uh three two one, I guess, get your popcorn ready. Let's do this.
All right, guys, so let me give you a little bit of the story here. We have this custom Reva minifigure directing this custom Flame Trooper, which is using a uh, Snow Trooper's helmet and a custom backpack that I built up, as well as the custom torch. The hose is a whip wrapped around there. But Reva is basically directing uh, this Flame Trooper to, to burn it down, right? Because they're on Tatooine and they're trying to track down Obi Wan Kenobi. And we have our moisture farmers here, which are absolutely uh, terrified uh, that the Empire showed up on their doorstep to track down Obi-Wan Kenobi, who is uh, back here kind of hiding out in the corner. And man, is he in a situation or what? Because if he uses the Force to save the day, you know, he's going to expose himself. But can he really, you know, just hide back there and do nothing when, you know, it's about to go down, right? They're about to burn this thing down. So I don't know. He's in a tough spot. We'll never really know the answer because, well, they're just kind of frozen here like this. So we'll just have to uh, think about it ourselves and imagine what the ending might be. But some of the details that I've worked in since the last update, we built up these moisture collectors, which they were a ton of fun uh, to make. Uh, you know, these uh, poles here took a little bit of figuring out to try to, a few different things, but I ultimately I kind of like this solution. The texturing we got completed here and I went with a different look than I normally do. Um, you know, normally I might blend in the, uh, the, the dark tan throughout the mock, uh, but this time I decided to go with patches. And I think I like the patch look for this particular mock. I think that gives it a, a, a nice look and, and helps, you know, the sand kind of um, feel more uniform and smooth, I guess you would say. Uh, the edges, I actually built those up with a little bit more detail. I made that a little bit more rough and then it works into being a little bit more smooth in the middle and I think that's a pretty decent texture. Um, we got these pauldrons from Firestar Toys, a lot of different things from Firestar Toys in this mock. I like Firestar Toys, but uh, these black pauldrons for these, whoa! And as you can see, oh, yep, the headless uh, Dubak rider here. Um, that's how I got him to be looking down on uh, this moisture farmer there as I, you know, took his head off and just leaned his helmet forward. But there you go. Man, the lights on this mock, I was really having a lot of fun playing with that. As you can see in the cinematic, I played around with the lighting a little bit, and I hope that turned out okay. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, definitely a lot of fun. I was going for like an evening kind of look with like the moon shining over uh, Tatooine. So I tried to have like a little bit of a reddish kind of like look into it. But uh, yeah, also worked in some crates, some spilt water here, some barrels. A broom and a lot of other details around the mock so guys i hope you enjoyed this build if you did make sure to hit that like button if you're not subscribed to this channel and you like lego star wars and other types of custom mocks make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss upcoming videos this video is probably long enough man so i'm just going to thank you guys so much for all your support i appreciate it and i will see you in the next build later